Hi, this is Rachel Sklar. I'm a parent coach and strategist sharing a really incredible tool for what to do when your kids push you over the limit and you're about to explode. Isn't it so true that sometimes our kids are acting all crazy and it feels like the pressure's on us to set things straight? And the pressure builds and builds and builds and builds and eventually we explode. So stay tuned to learn a really great tool that will help you prevent the next explosion. I generally teach that we as parents have the power to either escalate our children's negative behaviors or de-escalate the drama based on our approach to them. Unfortunately, most parents will default to an approach that actually escalates the negative behaviors and makes their children feel bad about themselves. And children who feel bad, act bad. It's a vicious cycle. I also teach that those negative behaviors are usually a sign that our children need more connection from us, not less. So the most important tool we have in our tool basket is our ability to connect with our children even when their behaviors are completely off. Because when we connect with them, that increases their feeling of confidence, it increases their feelings of self-worth, and that helps them cooperate better because kids who feel good act good. But creating connection with a child who's kind of on your shit list when you're feeling overwhelmed and impatient can be pretty tricky. So the simplest way to create connection when you're feeling overwhelmed is to think of the exact scripts that you want to use to invite connection with them. So this means that you're going to be coming up with the words, the exact words that you want to say to your child so that you're fully prepared the next time you feel like you're about to explode. Now these are different from mantras. Those are words you say to yourself. That's a different video. These scripts are words that you say to your child to bring them closer to show them that you're there for them no matter what, to keep your relationship with them front and center, and to stop you from exploding. And they're meant to be easy and short, simple words that you can say to them in the heat of a moment. And they're gonna be different for each child. It's gonna depend on their style, on their needs, on their strengths. And I'm gonna give you some examples to get you started. Now, like I said, your scripts will be different for each child. So I have one child who responds really well to, I'm right here and my lap is ready when you are. Now he's young and he's snuggly and he has come to associate those words with the very warm fuzzies that follow. My other child responds better to you and me in your bedroom, five minutes, choose a book. That works every time. I have a client who had a child who was back talking and attacking siblings and she found herself yelling and nagging and threatening and bribing and counting and, and so she wanted to um, figure out a way to handle this and she noticed that timeouts were backfiring and she was spending more time controlling her child's reaction to things than she was actually controlling her own reaction. So I set her up with a specific set of scripts that really worked for her and one of them was, I see what you're doing and I'm staying right here with you. I also like, you're safe. And I like, I know we can get through this together. We can do this. Okay, so the point is that you want to replace all those explosions with scripts that invite sweet connection. Now it's your turn. What can you say in a difficult moment to bring connection? Let me know in the comment section below. And trust me, if you find these words, you will save yourself thousands of dollars in therapy bills, both for yourself and your child. And I also want you to know that I offer a private discounted script writing session where I can work with you privately to come up with the exact words that you will say to your child that will work for your family. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can like me on Facebook, friend me on Facebook, subscribe to my newsletter at my website, get more great tips and tricks and stories on my blog. And on behalf of your kids, I thank you for watching and I encourage you to just go out there and completely rock.